Bloom's Taxonomy. What is it? It's a model that explains the levels in which students think. We as educators want our students to reach the higher level of thinking. Bloom's is structured to where it starts with lower level thinking at remembering and it goes all the way to the top cr to creating. Using Bloom's we can help our students reach that higher goal. We're going to be using definitions from the newest publication from Anderson and Crothwell. Anderson and Crothwell gave it a new name, Bloom's Revised Taxonomy. First key term is remembering, information retrieval from memory. We have some strategies listed here that you can use for this stage. Next we have understanding, giving meaning to different texts and graphics. By doing this, students are able to summarize and to rephrase their own words. Climbing right on up, we have implying, using what you have learned and know to implement it into real examples. And then there's analyzing, simplifying information into parts to see similarities and differences so the purpose can be understood. A crucial step is evaluating, checking and critiquing the information to form opinions to make sure it fits the standards. Lastly, students will create new material to show what they have learned. They can be very creative making fun videos, lessons, interactive books, posters, comics, and much more. By using what they know and creating something new, they will have a very good understanding of what is going on. I believe students learn by creating material. Going through the steps of designing projects or whatever it may be forces them to understand the concept. The editing and revising allow allows for one to drill the concept in over and over. Let's take a look at some models that help illustrate this method. Here you can see the two triangles and how they interrelate and it also compares the average retention rates. This one gives you some examples of what you can do under each step. And this last one is all about iPads in the classroom and how you can incorporate these apps into your lessons. So why is it important? I want to use Blooms in my classroom because it breaks down learning. Even more important, its end goal, getting to the top of the triangle where students are evaluating and creating. Thinking is important, and this is what Blooms gets students to do. Our students need to know how to think for themselves. How can we get them there? Using Bloom's model as a scaffold. We need a strong bottom to hold the heavy, more complex stuff at the top of the triangle. Thank you for watching.